Hey guys, John Martini here. Made some updates to Welder to make it easier for you guys to now do concave and convex. You'll see in the welded options you can choose under type, shape, and do convex or concave. We'll select our objects. Uh, I know my desired settings here. We'll do 0.5 for spacing. And I'll show you what that does here. We'll start off with generating our beaded weld. And you can see how the rotation is leaning towards the right. You can control that angle here. So if we want to just remove it entirely and we recreate this uh, bead, you'll see that there's no rotation. So the steeper that rotation, the steeper your beads uh, will be flowing in that direction. I found 50 is around a good size. Uh, spacing will control obviously the spacing between each bead. If you do something too large, you won't see much of the detail. Um, and if you want to see what's happening under the hood, you can see that there is a path with a bunch of shapes creating the beads. We cross section, surface those, fix the normals, and add turbo smooth. Um, so I keep the spacing generally low. Uh, the min max will control the variation in the size from bead to bead. So if you want something more drastic, just raise this number and you'll get something more noticeable. And there you go. Enjoy.